Hello, I'm Shomik and I'll be presenting our work Going Beyond the Image Space on a sampled MRI reconstruction directly in the case space using a complex valued residual neural network. I have no financial interest to declare. Magnetic resonance imaging is an inherently slow process due to consecutive data acquisition. The speed of acquisition can be increased by ignoring parts of the data, known as undersampling. But that can lead to loss of resolution and the image might also contain artifacts. Various deep learning based techniques have been proposed in recent times to deal with undersampled MRI. However, they mostly work in the image space. If the image is heavily corrupted by artifacts, it might be difficult for such networks to reconstruct fine structures which are not visible because of the obscurity caused by those artifacts. Working directly in the case space might be a possible solution to this problem as in the case space, there is no obscurity, only missing data. Automap is one of such methods which works directly in the case space. Here the input to the network is the undersampled case space and the network provides directly the reconstructed image as output. However, this network is not very scalable when it comes to higher matrix sizes due to its design. And also inverse Fourier transform is a known operator which is not required to be learned by the network. There have also been other methods working in the case space, but in most of these methods, the complex valued case space is divided as a two channel real valued data for real and imaginary part of the case space. Complex valued convolution has the capabilities to work directly with the complex valued case space, but hasn't been explored much. Now let's have a look at what is complex valued convolution and how is that different from the real valued ones. For an ordinary real valued convolution, the input is convolved with a kernel to generate the feature map. In case of complex valued convolution, to obtain the real part of the feature map, the real part of the input is convolved with the real part of the kernel and the imaginary part of the input is convolved with the imaginary part of the kernel and then they are subtracted. And to obtain the imaginary part of the feature map, the real part of the input is convolved with the imaginary part of the kernel and the imaginary part of the input is convolved with the real part of the kernel and finally they are added. We are actively working on a Python package for implementing complex valued neural networks using PyTorch which is available for installation using PyPI and also available on my GitHub. Now coming back to the task of undersampled MR reconstruction. We are proposing here a complex valued recon ResNet model, which contains a series of complex valued residual blocks. Each of these blocks contains two complex valued convolution layers separated by an adaptive complex modulus ReLU. Given a call wise undersampled case space to the network as input, the network provides an output coil wise case space. The real acquired data from the unassembled case space is then replaced in this output case space to obtain the final case space to force the network to focus on only the missing case space points. An inverse Fourier transform is applied on this final case space to obtain the reconstructed image, which is then compared against the ground truth image using the L1 loss and which is then minimized using Adam optimizer to train the network. Now to validate our approach, we have used the T2 axial brain images from the fast MRI dataset, which also contains the corresponding raw data. They were then artificially undersampled with an acceleration factor of four using two different sampling patterns, random variable density sampling with a center fraction of 0.08 and by taking the center of the case space with full phase encoding lines. Now let's have a look at an example result for both sampling patterns. We can observe that the network was able to remove much of the undersampling artifacts, though for variable density sampling, there were some leftover artifacts. While comparing the results quantitatively using structural similarity index, it can be observed that the network results in better SIM values than the undersampled zero parit reconstructions. Now to conclude, here we have presented a novel complex residual network architecture for undersampled MR reconstruction and has shown promising results. However, there were some remaining artifacts in the results which will be investigated further. Moreover, comparisons against state-of-the-art networks will be performed to compare the performance of the proposed method against image space networks and networks working in the case space but as dual channel. Models performance while reconstructing higher acceleration factors and different sampling patterns will also be evaluated. The code of this project is available publicly on my GitHub. Thank you so much for your attention 
and please feel free to contact me for any questions or feedback.